Hello. Okay. So, bali guys, ganito yung sistema natin ha. So, uh, well, actually, yung lecture natin is on Mondays. Tapos lab ng Thursdays. Pero, pagpasensya nyo na today, uh, naglab ako kasi hindi tayo nag-meet last Monday. Yon. Kasi, nasa meeting ako. Anyway, so, hello. Uh, this is uh, my first time meeting you. And, uh, Sige na nga. Maganda ba ako ngayon? Nice. Ayan. So, ay fudge. What happened? Ala kayo, wait lang. Nag-crash yung Discord. <laughs> Gago. Ay. <clears throat> Ni? Ayun. Sorry, nag-crash yung Discord ko. Gago to ah. Okay, ayaw niya ako pagunin ng cam. Sige, fine. Whatever. Okay, so today, uh, F5. This is just an introduction of uh, what we're going to discuss. But actually, not, not an introduction na kasi first lesson na talaga to. Uh, if you're going to check your LMS, I wait lang, sorry, hindi pa nagpapakilala. Hi guys, I'm Ma'am Rosel. Uh, ayun lang, yun lang kailangan nyo malaman sa akin. Uh, I am a Bachelor of Science in Information Technology graduate here also at St. Mary's University. Uh, I'm single. Kung may marareto kayo, better. Charot. Uh, requirement ko lang po, kailangan may fortuner. Charing. Ah, uh, okay. So, what else do you need to know? I am 26 years old. Ah, uh, ano ba? Ayun lang. Kung, yun ay kailangan nyo malaman. So, your BS ko, your ko-e students, BSCP students. So, ah, uh, this is not the first time that I'm going to handle ko-e students actually. But, ayun, so, for your batch, yon first time tayo makikita-kita. Mabait ako, huwag kayong magalala. Yun lang. Okay, so, uh, your subject is Software Development 2. Uh, I asked Ma'am Karina, what is this subject all about? So, sabi niya, ano to? more on web development. So, welcome to my world. This is indeed my expertise. I work as a web developer uh, in the corporate setting for a while, uh, maybe two years. And then, ano, I also, though I am also the one who created the SMU website. Not the LMS, ah, yung www.smu.edu.ph. So, anti flex lang, para kita niya yung credibility kung nagtuturo sa inyo. Anyway, so this is our LMS. So, I asked you to download some stuff. So, this is the Visual Studio Code. This is this is what we're going to be using all throughout the semester. So, no ifs, no buts. Yan lang. So, you can also use Notepad, Notepad++, Sublime, uh, and others. But, for the sake of formality, uh, uniformity in our class, I suggest that you use Visual Studio Code. Here is our course structure. If you haven't visited it, ito siya. So today, so we will be basically learning web development. Hopefully, after the end of the semester, you will be able to create your own web app using PHP, MySQL, and JavaScript. Hopefully, pag umabot tayo. Okay, so for today, we will be discussing the web basics. This is just a lecture part, so until compiler versus interpreter. And then, of course, we will be discussing the first branch, uh, the first uh, part, which is HTML. Uh, HTML, I think some of the students here, especially if you came from uh, ano to? Ano strand? ICT strand sa mga senior high, ganyan. Uh, you already have your HTML lessons for a while, ganyan. So, we're discussing what is HTML and other the, the other uh, components of HTML. Next is we're going to do a, a discuss CSS3. CSS3 is yun, uh, cascading style sheets, styling HTML, and all this, this, this. 
And then, of course, we will go to the JavaScript, JavaScript uh, language, Bootstrap, if aabot tayo, then also PHP, kung aabot tayo. Ayon. So, basically, ito na yung whole structure natin sa buong semester. So, for today, tatapusin na natin yung pinakaunang part. Diba? Galit na galit, gusto manakit. Okay, so we're going to... Oh, mali na naman na pindot ko. Oh, well. Swap. Ayan. Okay, so we're going to discuss web basics. Okay, so before we jump into the technical world of web development, we need to discuss these things first. Of course, these are the terms na magagamit all throughout the semester. Uh, and uh, hindi ko rin alam kung bakit. Pero sige, let's jump right through it. First thing that we need to know, uh, guys, if you have questions, feel free to interrupt me if I'm going too fast. Ganyan, I really need clarifications. Feel free to interrupt me, okay? Okay. Okay, so, uh, first thing that we need to know is what is a protocol. So, protocol, in simple English, is a set of rules to communicate. Parang, uh, it's a kind of rule that needs to be followed to achieve a desired result. So, for us right now, we are uh, nag-usap tayo, ako, tapos kayo, uh, set tayo ng protocols. <clears throat> Ganyan. Uh, in order to have a better understanding, we will speak in uh, Taglish or taga, uh, purely English or purely Tagalog. Pero, syempre, mas, uh, I can also discuss with you purely English since wala namang kano dito sa uh, class niyo Because in my IT class, oh my God, may estudyante akong Arabo. Tapos, hirap na hirap pa akong mag-Tagalog kasi, ay, mag-English kasi, hindi naman sa hirap. Kaya ko naman. Pero, Alam mo yon yung mas may explain alam mo sa sarili mo, mas may explain mo siya yung Tagalog. Tapos, you have the student uh, na, na hindi talaga siya nakakaintindi ng Tagalog as in. Kaya, medyo masakit siya sa banks. Ayun, so, yun, na-establish namin yung protocol, kami nung student, na we will just speak in English. Tapos, if, then sa mga iba niyang klase na if they have questions, then we will be discuss things. We will discuss things in Tagalog or Taglish as uh, what I'm doing with you now. So, yun yung protocol. Like, isaset nyo yung rules para magkaintindihan kayo. Okay. So, for example, we have two people here and then they established that we will be speaking in English kaya sila nagkakaintindihan. Okay, and at the same time, when you're having your system, uh, there's also a protocol that is being followed in order for them to communicate with each other. So, imagine two systems want to communicate with each other and exchange data. So, paano sila magko-communicate? Eh, ang alam nang naman ng computers ay 0 and 1. I hope na na-discuss na rin naman sa inyo to, okay? So, dun papasok yung protocol. So, this is a set of rules for them to oh, communicate. Wait lang. I asked us. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so, ngayon, ah, uh, Yung dalawang system na yun, they have to agree on a common protocol. So, they should know what rules they're going to follow to communicate with each other. And then, there should be some kind of instruction that are predefined when followed a communication to be made. So, before two computers decide to communicate, they agree on a common protocol. And based on that protocol definition, they communicate with each other. So, for example, uh you have your TV, right? May mga TV ba kayo sa mga bahay nyo? Meron. Meron Kasi kami wala. <laughs> Honestly, wala kaming TV. So, yung TV kasi, di ba may remote siya. Okay. So, yung remote sa kayong TV, magko-communicate yung mga yan. 
Pero syempre, paano nagka-communicate yung remote sa ka-TV? Any idea? Signal, ma'am. Anong signal ang ginagamit nila? Electro. <laughs> Actually, remote sa ka-TV ng magamit ang infrared. Yan. Uh, di ba infrared? Kung aware kayo sa infrared, das, uh, medyo makalumang technology siya sa mga phone. Pero ang infrared kasi, pag lumayo ka, di ba hindi naabot? Tama? Ayan. So, kapag pansin nyo, pag medyo malayo na kayo sa TV, hindi na nasa sagap ng TV yung remote. Okay, another one. Uh, you have your cell phone, saka Bluetooth speak. Sinabi ko na siya. Okay, you have your cell phone, saka ear... Earpods. Ano yung communication nila between the two? Bluetooth, ma'am. Ha? Ah? Yung Bluetooth, ma'am? Oo, ah, Bluetooth. Okay, sige. Uh, so, Bluetooth yung communication between a phone tapos yung kanyang earphones or uh, Bluetooth speaker, ganyan, ganyan. Okay, so next is, uh, sige, nana natin dito. You have also your phone and then your Wi-Fi router, which is a uh, Wi-Fi protocol. And then you have your computers with the server, and this is, I guess, gumagalaw yung screen? Um, di po nag slide Ay, sorry. Wait lang, bakit ganyan? Kaya pansin ko eh, na-view ko eh, ano. Okay, so ito, uh, you have your Wi-Fi sa phone, you have your Wi-Fi protocol, you have your phone, saka router, and then you also have your computers for file transfer, that is FTP protocol, and then you have your maybe any device, and then sending an email, that is also what we call an email protocol, and there are lots and lots and lots of other protocols around us in order for uh, devices or system to communicate. Okay, next slide. So, depending on which type of communication, the underlying protocol will change. So, each protocol is defined to achieve a specific type of results when followed. So, protocol is nothing but a set of rules that when followed, the specific operation is performed. Okay, so these are the technical definitions. So, protocol is a set of rules and it can also be defined as a set of rules and standards used to communicate between machines. Communication protocol will be used to communicate and exchange info. An example of communication protocol are Wi-Fi, FTP, or email protocol. Okay, so next. So, that's the first thing that we need to know kung ano ang protocol. Okay, so next is, of course, sinabi ko nga sa inyo na web development itong subject na to. Therefore, we need to know what is the internet. All of us are familiar with what internet is. Internet is also powering us, why we have our on online classes, ganyan. So, internet is a network where group of computers connected together with a single wire. So, ayan. Kung basta may kable, ayan, may internet. So, systems connected in that network are able to communicate with each other and exchange the data. Internet is so powerful because of one thing and that is we can communicate to any system in that network. So, for example, you have your internet at home and then your printer is also connected to the internet. Ganyan, ganyan, to your uh, network sa bahay kahit na wired, wireless na lang. Like you have your laptop connected to the Wi-Fi router, connected to the internet. You can just print whatever you are in the house as long as you're connected to the Wi-Fi. Ganyan. Okay, so, next. <clears throat> so, system connected, uh, yun. So, we can issue command to any computer in the world when we, connected, when we are connected to this network. So, the internet. 
So today we can use Skype like WhatsApp, uh, send emails, buy online, and can do many things because of these. All these computers are connected together in a single network, and we can use it to do whatever we want. So this network is often called as the global network. Internet is just a way computers are connected to exchange information in one network. So, ayun, kung walang internet, hindi tayo nagkaklase ngayon, hindi tayo uh, nakakapag-send ng messages through Messenger, Facebook, uh, sa Facebook, hindi tayo nakakapag-post ng pictures through Instagram, hindi tayo nakakapag-online gaze, alam na yung nag-genshin dyan, nandiyan ka na ba? Gusto na mo yung 14 hours na grind mo, be? <laughs> sure ka ba dyan? <laughs> Kumain ka naman. <laughs> Ayan, so, ayan, so basically internet is everything right now, especially in this time. So, kapag, uh, like, nawawal, nag-PPLDC, yun, pag, ayan, nab kaya nabanggit yung PLDC, nag-rant nag na lahat, ganyan, wala na hangat, ganyan. So, palalo pag brown sa Nobel ko, parang sobrang bo boring na ng buhay and other things like that. <clears throat> okay, so, Ito yung connection na ginagawa ng internet. It can just go on and on around every computer that are available. So, a bit of history. Okay, so a bit of history tayo mga kapatid kay Kristo. Okay, so the internet was discovered because there's a project of the federal government of the United States known, known as ARPANET in 1960. So the primary purpose of this is to build a network of computer using which federal data can be exchanged. So sila sila lang noon. So, it was a secured network and used only in the nation for federal purposes. So, later in 1990s, uh, many organizations came together to form a network that can be used by everyone, which was the internet. So, sa una, it's for the military purposes only. Tapos, uh, nakita nila yung potential no technology hanggang sa lumago, ng lumago, ng lumago. And then, we have the internet that we have right now. Ayon. So... Uh, paano nga ba na-exchange yung data sa internet? So, yung data in internet is exchanged with the TCP IP protocol. So, transfer, Transmission Control Protocol or Internet Protocol. And this is the protocol that every computer uses to exchange data. We will be discussing this uh, more later today. So, itong TCP IP is parang language na every computer in the network speaks to communicate. And then, this is a requirement that every computer connected to the global network or the internet must be TCP IP protocol language in order for you to communicate. So, kapag may pumalya dun sa TCP IP configuration sa computer mo, hindi ka makakakonect sa internet. Many other protocols are built based on this underlying protocol. So, if you already... Ay, nag-networking na ba kayo? Alam ko, mas focus kayo dun eh. Kaya... Feel ko, alam ko na, alam nyo na itong mga terms na to so, pinapasadahan na lang natin siya. Ayan. So, what is web? What is the main difference? What is the difference of web and the internet? So, the web is not the internet. If the internet is a way to connect computers together, then web is the way to access those information over the internet medium. So, yung web ay yung method about how to access those information over the internet. So, papansin nyo, uh, so, in layman's term, yung internet, yung connection, yung pagkakatagpi-tagpi ng mga, pagkakadug, ano, uh, pagkakakonek-konek, pagkaka, yon. Pagkakatagpi-tagpi, is that the term? Pagkadugtong-dugtong ng mga computers. And then yung web is kung paano, ni, paano mo nakukuha yung information mula doon sa, uh, yon <laughs> Doon sa internet. Kung paano mo makukuha yung information mula sa isang computer or sa isang server. Ganyan. Yan yung gamit ng web. Web is the way information is shared across the internet. So, the information is generally represented with text, images, and video, audio, and other media types. World Wide Web or Web are actually the same thing. Ayun. 
So, this achieves the two things, access the resource from any computer in the internet and link those resources. A bit of an history with the web, the World Wide Web. The, uh, the father of World Wide Web is Tim Berners-Lee and he invented World Wide Web in 1989. So, he built a browser using which the resource were access over the internet and displayed on the browser. 1991, it was released to the general public. From then, all the big companies released their own browsers like Google Chrome and Google has Chrome and Windows has Edge. Ayan. So, paano nga ba nag exchange yung data sa web? So, you are using, syempre, we still need the way of communication. Therefore, may protocol na naman dito. So, in here, we're using the HTTP protocol, a uh, HTTP, so Hypertext Transport Protocol. So, you, you are familiar with HTTP, so every, because every time you access a website, it has HTTP or HTTPS. So, yung S is secured lang yun. To access the information from any computer to the, in the internet. So, hypertext means a special text which has linked to other resources in the internet. Maybe video, images, and sound. Let's like you're accessing Facebook. You have text, video, images, sound, everything. And then, uh, HTTP is also the protocol using which hypertext is downloaded from the server and displayed into the browser. Ayan. So, ano nga bang difference ng internet sa kayong web? Nasabi ko na to kanina. Pero sige, yung internet is the way how two computers can communicate with each other. Web is the method through which the hypertext is accessed from the server and displayed on the browser. And, yeah, web and internet is not are not the same. Can I not just stress that enough? Okay. Okay, so this is a question. So, does anyone control the internet? So, actually, no one controls the internet. Uh, uh, the, the internet is decentralized. If you're going to think about it, no one actually has my, uh, the power over all the internet, all the computers that are being accessed, ganyan, ganyan. Ayan, so this is a network where computers are connected with TCP IP protocols. So you can bring your computer and connect it to the internet. Once your computer is connected to the internet, then our computer can talk to the other computers in the global network or the internet. So all the communication in the internet happens with the defined protocol. So basta nagkaroon na ng defined na TCP IP yung computer mo or yung laptop mo or yung phone mo, Automatically, pwede ka na makakonek sa internet. <clears throat> okay, next. Okay, a bit before we jump. I-browse yun lang yan. Sabi ko naman na lahat kanina. Just technical definitions. Okay, part 3. Okay, wala ka dalawang parts na. Okay, just going diving deeper. Going a di little, 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 little bit technical on how the internet works. So, HTTP, nasabi na rin dito kanina. Ano yun? Ayan. So, but, HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Uh, communicate web with the machine, sige ganyan. Once this, ayan. So, this is a language that the two machines speaks in order to exchange the hypertext all over the web. Okay. So, this is the connection, HTTP, the connection between the machines the machines. Ayan. So, how does HTTP works? Okay, so the rule of HTTP is as and it shall be served. It is served. As and it is served. Okay, so the hypertexts are available in the system which are connected to the internet. Someone needs to make a request to this machine and ask to fetch it. Then once the request is made, it is served by sending the hypertext via the response. So there are two roles involved. First is the requester and the second is called a provider. As you can see here, you have the requester and then the provider. Okay, so... Okay. 
Okay, so basahin ko muna bago ko yung demo. So, in layman's term, basically, ikaw yung tao na nag access sa computer, kailang mo mag-request sa isang server na which is pag-pro-provide nung hypertext sa kailangan mo. A bit vague, pero sige, let's try this. Si uh, are you aware of how torrents work? Torrent, like BitTorrent, U-Torrent, uh, yung paano mag-download sa torrent. Ah? Aware kayo, aware kayo. Okay, so, uh, di ba in torrents, you have what we call seeders and leachers. Okay, so seeders, sila yung may hawak. May hawak nung, mga, nung files na ita-download mo. So, the, the leachers are the ones the, uh, asking for the copy or currently downloading the copy. So, it is always better to look for higher seeders than leachers than isa lang yung seeders tapos 35 yung leachers. Parang ganun. Automatically, mabagal yun. Kasi naka-queue kayo eh. Para, para, ano, para pumila kung sino yung makakuha ng data. Okay. So, yun din yung concept ng HTTP. So, magre-request ka. Halimbawa, you're going to type to your browser, www.google.com and then you're going, ibaba to, ni, inter, ni, ano, uh, yeah, ibaba to ni internet yung request mo, hahanapin niya si Google ngayon. And then, si Google magre-respond, ah, hello, andito ako, tapos kukunin ni Google yung hypertext na rin request mo, which is the home screen. So, you pro-project ni Google sa'yo. So, that, that happens in a blink of an eye. Kasi, di ba, lalo pag mabilis yung net, mabilis lang naman nangyayari yan. Okay. Okay, so kung walang request, walang magagawa si provider, hindi niya pwede ipilit sa'yo na kailangan mo makita si Google kahit hindi ka naman nagre-request. Okay, summary. So, someone needs to initiate the request to access those resources on the server. Server will respond and send that resource back as response. And all this is handled by the HTTP protocol. Okay. So, do you have any questions before we proceed? Oh. Wala naman? So, Wala pa naman. Okay. Sabi no, niya na. Okay. Ayan. Sound check. Okay, so, ayan. So, how the internet works, kanina ba natin sasabi yan? So, si TCP IP kasi, yun yung parang pinakapangalan ng computer mo. Yun yung parang pina, that's a unique uh, character ng computer mo para makilala na ikaw yun. So, di ba meron yung mga nananakot na, alam ko kung saan yung IP mo, pwede kita matrace kung nasan ka. Those things. Kasi, they're, they're actually true because every time that we connect into the internet, we're given a unique IP address. So, ayun. Pwede ka, pwede ka nga talaga matrace and stuff. Anyway, so speaking of TCP IP, so TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol and it's used to connect and transfer data. IP stands for Internet Protocol, which any computer can be identified with a unique IP address. You can connect this to the internet to access other computers and exchange data by this protocol. So, yon IP, IP address. Uh, every diff All the different devices on the internet have unique addresses. So, as you can see, sinabi ko kanina, it's like your name and the uh, internet if you have your own IP address. Kapag nagkakaroon ng conflict with the IP address, you cannot uh, access your internet. So, like, every every phone SIM, basically, ang ang, ang, ang relation na pwedeng i ang analogy na ito is like your phone SIM. Wala kang kaparehong number. So, at the same time, kapag nag-access ka sa computer, wala ka rin kaparehong IP. Okay, so, every computer you have needs to have a unique address when connected to the internet so that it is easily identified from the billions of computers. IP address, number lang yan. So, it looks like this, 192, ganyan, dot and dot. So, it has a format where it's separated by period and it also can be compared with the email address. So, there are two, two kinds of IP. 
So we have the IPv4 and the IPv6. So they do the same na uh, they they created a uh, IP unique IP for uh, for your computer. So as more computers are added to the internet kasi so it needs to be bigger because 100 28 bit lang yung IPv4 and then IPv6 is 256. So, ayan. IPv4 just use com uh, text, I sorry, numbers to identify with your address and then IPv6 actually uses uh, more. So, it uses letters and numbers in order to create a more unique combination that we can assign to the computer and identify them in the internet so i think you're familiar i uh, you're familiar with how to look into your ip just open your command prompt and then uh enter ip ip config so as you can see here this is my ipv6 address here sa part na to and then i also have my ipv4 here 192.168.1.146 and then you have a subnet and default gateway and at the same time if you want to ask i look for the ip of a specific website maybe yahoo oh my god ang luma and let's try Okay, as you can see here, 9 gag is from 104.16.107.44. So, yan, nagsend tayo ng request para hanapin yung si 9 gag, which is this IP address right here. And nagkaroon din siya ng response. Therefore, pag i-open natin siya sa browser, 9 gag, 9 gag pa pala. Okay. Meron siyang actually may papasa sa atin na output. Ayan. Basically, that's it. Okay. Uh, Ayan. Sabi ko nga. Next is... Basta katalala muna ko. Next is, we have what we call DNS. So, ano nga ba yung DNS? This is a domain name system. So, this is the English name or easy to remember name for your IP addresses. So, since us kasi, like we're accessing, accessing LineGag, accessing Google on a daily basis, Facebook, and etc. And what other websites that you wish to visit every day, hindi ko kayo ju judge Mahirap ire alalahanin yung IP nila, like everything, yung IP nila. So, therefore, we have the DNS or the domain, domain name system in order to add English words or English names to the IP addresses that we wish to uh, access. So, this is like we are saving the numbers uh, contact numbers with a name in order for us to remember kanino bang number to kasi we cannot memorize like 50 contact numbers in our entire lifetime, diba? Paano pag nagpalit pa ng number tapos meron ka pang kupal na kaibigan na araw-araw nagpapalit ng SIM kasi scammer, de joke lang. <laughs> ayun, so, ayun. Uh, domain name system is just naming IP addresses. So, ayun, so, there are actually many domain name providers who can help us to buy the domain name for our IP addresses. There are cheap ones and there are rather expensive ones. Especially kapag bumibili ka ng domain na .com yung last. Like maybe roselaudrey.com you want a website like that. Most probably you will be spending like uh, $20 per month just for the maintenance of it. Ayon. So medyo mahal siya. Tapos, but you can buy cheap ones like .net, .org, .co, yung mga ganon. Or you can have it for free, pero meron silang bonus. Like, they'll be putting, ay ba ba, uh, roselaudrey.wix.com. Wix actually provide a free, dom, a dom, uh, free domain, pero they add their name, like Wix, ayan, sa, ayan, sa ano, sa name. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so once you purchase the domain name that is unique, then that is unique in the internet as well as like IP addresses. So, wala siya katulad. 
Hindi pa rin may katulad kang website. So, how are they registered? This domain name servers around the world has lists of all the domain names and its corresponding IP addresses. So, once you purchase a domain name from the domain name, provide and map your IP address with the domain name. So, uh, this new mapping is distributed and synced with all the domain name servers across the world so that everyone knows that for this domain name, this is the IP address. So, when this, once the sync is down, then every DNS server can tell what the IP address on your, of your domain name is. So, kaya, when you map the IP address to the domain name, it will take 24 hours to sync everything with all the domain name servers across the world. So, let's try uh, looking for a domain. Uh, sige, GoDaddy. Ito na natin GoDaddy. GoDaddy.com. Okay. Shit, puro ads ko na naman. Okay, so let's try to create our domain. Let's see kung uh, meron na nga ba ganitong domain. So let's try. My name first, syempre. Maganda ako eh. Okay, so wala ah uh, wala pa wala pang nakakakuha gagi pa nga lang ko to lang ano meron so you have the 79 pesos for the first year with the two year registration so 79 pesos siya for the first year tapos pag that ph 3k siya oh my god okay so medyo mahal siya so you have other other kinemers dito. Pwede ito, 59 pesos for the first year. Or you can just dot net. And yan, you can see. Yeah, premium. Wow. 101 per year. Oh my god. And so, medyo mahal nga siya. Okay. Awesome. Then, you can just use GoDaddy. Uh, if you want to search, then, uh, anong kanta ni Connie? <laughs> okay, so 3K siya, pag that PH, 79, pag, okay. So, mas muro na nga siya ngayon kapag ano, pag dot com. So, meron pa rin siya. So, let's try, ano, Facebook. Siyempre, wala na to. Pag magpapakita siya. Na, it is already taken. And then, ayan. Pwede mo siya makipag-usap, pero syempre Facebook, kaya hindi talo ka na agad. Uh, what else? Syempre, ayoko yung mag-example ng mga website na favorite nyo, di ba? Sige. Tuloy natin yung usapan. Okay? Ayan. I just demonstrated this a while ago. Okay. So, technical definition ulit tayo. Tinamad na mag Mag-slide. Sige lang. Okay, technical definition ulit. So, just read this. Uh, I'll send naman the PowerPoint after the discussion. Okay, so client side and server side. Uh, Kaya lang part na ba? Di ko na rin alam. Okay, so this is how the HT we've been discussing how the internet works. Uh, for a while now, so this is like what I've said a while ago, na kailangan may mag-request and then of course, kailangan may mag-re-respond. So, you have two sides. You have the client side, the client side, and the server side. So, the client side is the one requesting. So, ayon. All the actions that happen at the browser or requester side is called the client side. So, if your browser executes a code on your computer, then we say the code, code is executed at the client side. Next is the server side. This is where the information or the hypertext or the data will be fetched. 
So everything that happens at the servers is called the server side. Once the request is sent to the server or provider, then all the operations or steps that the server executes are referred to as the server side. So server side code executes when the client makes a request to the server and asks to run that code. So the output of the code is sent back to the client by the server. Kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng interaction between client and server. So just give, give, give and take. Parang ganun. So, this client server technology, this is a model or design or concept that is very commonly used to design the application uh, architecture. So, at this time, ngayon, sa mga panahon ngayon, parang every, every system that we encounter is already at a client server technology na. Wala na masyadong nag i stand alone. Uh, madalas talaga naka-client server na lahat ng uh, mga uh, application na ina-encounter natin araw-araw. Kaya vital ang web web ano? Web application uh, web web development. Ayan. So the main principle is that the server holds a piece of code or resources with high-end hardware capacity. Client could be anyone like mobile, desktop, or iWatch. So the client will request the server for any operations or resources, and server will execute that commands and return and the output to the client. Ayan. So in this way, there could be few powerful servers, and then the client does not have to worry how to implement the code. Basta kailangan niya lang may request sa server, and si server babalik siya with the specific output needed. Many servers, architecture, and frameworks are based on the very common theory, which is a client-server technology. Ayan. Okay, last, last ito. Last ito, promise. You have lots of time to sleep again. Okay, so we have, ay, may tanong? Last na to? Wala pa po, ma'am. Ah, sige, samantalahin niyo lang yung hindi pagtatanong kasi next time, puro tanong na kayo. Okay, so, I think you have the basic understanding of how this works. How the computer understand instructions because, sya, third years na ba kayo? Third years, no? I think. So, nadaanan nyo na yung programming, ganyan-ganyan. So, data structure. So, uh, computer, you, we all know that computer do not understand English. And it understand, nor it understand the mouse clicks. It can only understand one and zeros, on and off. That's how the instructions are given to the machine. Or what we call machine language. This converts uh, the instructions into the code that the machine understands. Okay. So, we have the conversion from our English language to the machine language. This is the job of a compiler or an interpreter and or interpreter which helps to convert the English language into machine language the computer can understand. Can understand, sorry. So, since we are, this is still a programming subject even though uh, we say that it is a web development subject. Uh... We're still dealing with compilers and interpreters. So, compilers, these are programs. This is a program that reads our program and converts them into machine language. Then, the compiled code is executed to give instruction to the machine. So, kailangan yung compiler, kailangan niya munang gumawa or ma-convert yung program into a machine language. So, gumagawa siya ng, ng isang file. Para yun yung i-run niya kay machine language. So, kapag hindi siya na-compile, hindi mo ma-execute yung code. Ayan. Sabi ko, ay, nadoble. Tika. So, programming language like Java and C uses compiler to compile its code into another file that is used to execute on the system. So, kapag nag-Java kayo or nag-C, napapansin nyo kapag nagko-compile kayo or nag-save kayo, nagkakaroon ng that class na na file. So, yun yung na-compile na file para yun yung i-translate i-trans yun tra niya papunta sa system. Then, unlike uh, 
unlike Java and C, we also have interpreter. So, since interpreter, para siyang, ano, ano bang ginagawa ng interpreter? Di ba nag interpret Ayan. So, kapag may interpreter, kahalimu na sa ako, Pilipinas, hindi ako marunong mag-English, as kung, ay, hindi ako marunong mag-Hapon, tapos pupunta ako sa Japan. Siyempre, may interpreter ako, di ba, para i-translate yung mga sinasabi ko. Hindi naman gumagawa si si interpreter ng panibagong ako na nagsasalita ng hapon para maintindihan nila, di ba? But they just, in, they just interpret. Okay, so, interpreter program that executes their code at runtime and pass the instructions to the computer at the same time. So, hindi na siya gumagawa ng file. So, yun nga, translate nga. Does it generate another set of file and execute them but instead reads our program line by line and then execute them in the same sequence. So, what are your we are using here is PHP and Ruby. Since we are dealing with PHP, sa subject na to, ayun. Kaya, interpreter lang gagamitin natin. Ay, may isa pa. Oh my God. Hindi to script. Nakalimutan ko din. Okay, so we have the difference between the things that we're going to use in this subject. So we have programming, languages, markup language, and scripting languages. Okay, so what is a programming language? Programming languages are lang are instructions that we use to give uh, our language that we use to give instructions to the computer. Languages that needs to be compiled with a compiler are referred to the com programming language. These are very powerful and well-defined languages that can give powerful instructions to the computer. So, we're just uh, giving instructions to the computer. So, with the programming language, we get the full control of the system and give instructions to do things that we want to. These are Java, C, and C++ are the most powerful programming languages. As of now, okay? So, there are other things, other programming languages that are uh, gaining Gaining popularity like Python. What else? Uh, Iba ba mga program? Basta ano, sumisikat ang Python kasi ano, nagpo-focus sila sa pangalan na to, blockchain. Kapag, if you're interested with cryptocurrency, blockchain, NFTs, and all that stuff, they're using Python in developing those. It's a crazy, it's a crazy programming language. Medyo nahihirapan din ako siya. Ah, Nahihirapan din ako aralin since I'm a Java native. Ayun. Anyway, baka may subject kayo. ASMR? This is a markup language. Uh, so, this is a uh, markup language are written using the markup. So, ang markup is yung ano yan? Greater than sa less than na sign. So, these are HTML. So, HTML hypertext markup language. So, that's a markup language. Ganyan. This is easy to learn and easy to represent the data using markup language. The major disadvantage of having markup language is it cannot control the system nor it is very powerful in handling a complex logic. Markup language are just used to uh, beautify a page. Like, wala siyang logic, logic sa loob. So, ang nakikita mo lang if you're using markup language is just the face. Ayun, yung parang mukha lang, ganda lang ang puhunan, parang ganun sana. Pero wala siyang utak, wala pa siyang ginagawa. Unlike, ay basta ang ginagawa niya lang is ipakita kung ano yung naisulat sa kanya. So, if people would ask you if HTML is a programming language, no, it's not. In the name pa lang, just ko, it's a markup language. That's always, uh, pangalan na ito? common mistake with uh, students like, pero nung ako, may alam mo, language HTML, taulong, ganyan. Mali yun, kapatid. Okay, so, uh, the main purpose of this is to represent the data structure, yun nga, yung structure niya lang, yung ganda niya lang. How the data should look like is defined by the markup language. So, these are HTML, XML, are called markup language. And finally, we have, oh, finally na, Finally, we have scripting. Uh, scripting, uh, this uses interpreters and as referred as scripting language. This does not call another program or instructions to do the job done. 
And that's why you find the scripting languages are fun, easy, and very simple to work with. The reason is that the heavy coding is done in another program and the language is made simple to call those functions. So you have JS, JavaScript, Python. Oh, Python is a scripting language pala. And PHP, they're actually scripting language. Okay, so uh, more or less, uh, scripting language are used use in web apps because you have a little, little or... Mas maliit yung resources mo kasi. Kasi you have to make sure that your applications are well transmitted in the internet. Like, hindi siya magkakos ng lag kapag ano. Kasi kapag gumamit ka ng programming language sa Java and C, napapansin nyo ang lalaki. Well, siguro hindi is masyado. Pero yung point is, malalaki yung mga files. Kasi gumagawa pa yung compiler ng another file in order to have the uh, computer to read it. Pero unlike sa scripting, kasi diba like, trinatranslate ka lang. So, wala yung bulk ng files na yun para pag trinatranslate yung instruction over the internet. So, yun yung main difference nilang dalawa. Okay, tapos na. You have any questions, mga kapatid kay Cristo? May tanong. Dami naman, ma'am. 